It's been 30 days since the last reported sighting of Barry the Alchemist Mayor. Every re-election, I'm hopeful that he will return. But every time I step inside those doors, he is nowhere to be seen. Replaced by violent warlords, liars, drug-addicted maniacs, power-hungry communists, and fake animal rights activists. Barry is nowhere to be seen amongst the ranks of these malicious monarchs. Barry didn't do anything. He just wanted to give everybody 2% more alchemy experience. He didn't want anybody to feel lonely in the world. He didn't do anything wrong. And yet, he's nowhere to be seen in this event. And since I had to vote for somebody, I voted for Foxy. Though my morals went against it, I felt I had to vote. Where is Barry? I do not know. So, I went on a travel. I went to look for answers. After about three hours, I went into the pub, and this is where I found a man named Lucius, who told me that there was a man named Sirius at the Dark Auction, who could probably give me a clue as to where Barry was. After a bit of traveling, I finally got to the place where Lucius told me to go, and I waited there. For many nights, I waited there. And when all hope seemed lost, Sirius finally showed up, and the dark auction began. I walked into the room. It was a vibe. I will tell you this, it was a vibe. I sat there and waited as the auction began. I waited until we got to an item that everybody would flock over to, and then I took my chance to talk to Sirius. He was a charming man. A man with a plan, the man with the mustache, the man with the monocle. But he was a bit fidgety to tell me anything. I asked him if he knew anything about Barry, anything about the elections. He kept shaking his head profusely, denying everything. He wouldn't tell me anything. He kept looking off to the corner like some madman. Finally, I had enough. I told him that if he didn't tell me anything that he knew, then I would blow his whole operation out of the water. His whole operation would crumble down into nothing. Finally, his demeanor changed. His smirk dropped and he started getting worried, more fidgety. He told me that he didn't do anything. He didn't know anything. And that the only thing he did know was that the townspeople that were near the forest knew something big and that I should talk to them. Before I could get any more information out of Sirius, I was sent outside, the auction had ended, and I lost my chance to know more. And so I started asking around. First I asked the gladiator, then the math teacher, and then a man named Andrew. And then I looked towards the alchemy building. Of course, this is the thing that Barry loved. Surely, the person who runs this knew where Barry was. So I went up to her, and I asked her, Do you know anything about Barry? And what she said shocked me. Of course, how could I be so stupid? Even in our own society, there's not one person who runs an entire nation, an entire country, an entire world. No, there are other people who run the inside, while the mayor, while the president, runs the outside. Now, who runs the inside of the town of Skyblock? Well, it is Seraphine, the clerk. Of course, who else is there that's behind the desk, that is at the computer, that is running these mayor elections, that is running these town projects? It is Seraphine. It's been Seraphine all along, and we just haven't noticed it. She has been running this entire operation the entire time, right under our noses. I believe that she has done something horrible to Barry and we just haven't noticed it. So, I call upon you, my fellow subscribers, my fellow world, everybody who is watching this video. Go tweet, go make videos, go make Instagram posts, anything. Spread the word. Hashtag save Barry. Let's kick Seraphine out of office.
and save Skyblock. 